guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog how are we all doing today i am at home today so i thought i'd pick up the camera and start vlogging i wanted to pop to b and actually i need to pick up some cleaning bits and whilst i am at home today i've got the ovens I want to give a bit of a clean so I wanted to go to B&M get some like oven prime and some other cleaning bits whilst I'm there. Hello gorgeous boy. Are you saying hello? Everyone loves it when you're on the vlog. Oh sorry guys. Oh he's bringing you his toy. Isn't that sweet? Come on then. Your big polar bear. Is that your big polar bear? Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a little bit wet from a walk, aren't you? So Bonnie and I, we have a video sponsor for today, don't we? Yay! We are working with Tails.com, who um, we get our food from for Barney. Tails has been a bit of a game changer for us, I'm not gonna lie. We've been, he's been on Tails for a while now. We, I first wanted to try him on that a year or two ago, I can't remember, but um, essentially, he is a fussy eater and we tried him on a few different kibbles and every single time he would get bored of them, he would just literally turn his nose up at them and just not eat until tails.com, which I discovered and I think it was actually, it was a family friend that, well, a family member that first mentioned it that they used it for their dogs and um, the concept of it with it being a tailor-made recipe specific to your dog, which I thought was perfect because I thought, he's a fussy eater, so you can kind of pick and choose the flavors that you think they might like. You can pick and choose the, um, like your concerns or your needs for your dog, whether it be if they've got digestion issues, if they're fussy eaters, yes. I'm speaking about you, although you're not a fussy eater anymore. And obviously it makes life so much easier when he's not a fussy eater. They are tailor-made recipes for your dogs, um, of which they do do wet food as well. So they're saying, you don't know you're born. You don't know you're born. You're too cute. He loves a cuddle, which makes me very, very happy. Anyone else's dog like suckle their teddies? So cute. He always like goes for the face and just like holds on to it, sucks it, and then like just cuddles it. So cute. Anyway, as I was saying, I have a, a code Freya5, and if you click on my unique link, which I will leave in the description box below, and with that discount code, you will get one month free, one month free of the tailor-made recipe for your dog, dry dog food, but you also do get 50% off the wet food and treats, only one pound delivery as well. So honestly, well worth just trialing out, seeing how you go. You're not locked in any time if you need to pause or postpone deliveries, you can do so really nice and easily online on their website. It's honestly the most straightforward thing to do. Sometimes quite often I'll go on before his um, delivery is due and just add a few extra treats on or chews. They do dental daily chews as well. Some like little training treats. I get my yak chews from there as well for him. We love it as well for the convenience of being able to travel with the food. It's just so easy to just pack up and go. When we went to the Cotswolds um, a while ago now, several weeks ago, and we took Barney was obviously able to just take his food, take his bowl, travel really easily with it. He obviously loves it. So we know and we have confidence that even in uncertain environments or different environments, he's still going to eat his food because we know now that he loves it. So he's a fan, therefore we're a fan. And like I said, the main fact that they are, oops, that's the front door, one second. Every time there's a knock at the door, he thinks it's for him. It's not, it's for me, it's a parcel for me. But yeah, I couldn't recommend them enough. We'll leave my unique link and discount code in the description box below if you wanna try out a 100% tailored recipe for your dog to suit their age, breed, lifestyle, and more, then be sure to check out Tails and say thank you. Say thank you, Tails, for working with me on today's video. Should we give you a little treat? Do you want to show off your trick? It's going to be proof of how much he actually likes his food because even just his kibble has treats. Look at him waiting patiently. Come here. Spin. 
He's drooling. Can you speak? <coughs> Whisper. Moo. Good boy. We're teaching him to moo because I saw um, another golden retriever on uh, what's it called? TikTok. Oh my gosh. Wow. That made me feel old. Uh, we saw another uh, golden retriever do on <laughs> TikTok and I was like, oh, that's the cutest thing. What other tricks do we know? Can you spin? Yay! Can you go around? Watch him just go around the furniture. Good boy! <laughs> sit. Can you sit pretty? Good boy! <laughs> Flap that in, cobra touch. Spin. Ready? Go around. Yes. What else do we know? Oh, bah. <laughs> Good boy. You're so clever. This is my work here. Is done. Tails.com, be sure to check it out. Let's head on over now to B&M. Let's do a little shop, shall we? Get some cleaning done. And I'll show you what I'm wearing today. Nothing too special, but just my little Anina Bing tea. I need to pop on some fake tan. And I've also got these jeans on, and these are from White Fox, and they are one of my favorite pairs of jeans that I own, simply because of the comfort of them. So if I'm wanting to wear jeans around the house, these are the ones that I tend to go for. They're quite a wide leg fit, which I think makes all the difference. I don't feel like I'm restricted in any way or uncomfortable so yeah i've started wearing jeans a little bit more often which is unlike me hair slicked back today just simply because <laughs> needs a wash we'll pop some maybe birkenstocks on head out the door and i'll see you guys when we get to the shops Often was one pound twenty five now four pound. <laughs> See, that's a mistake, but um, still four pounds for this water bottle. I thought it was so cozy and lovely. I feel like this is new, I'm not sure I've seen this one before. It's like a scalloped edged lampshade, otherwise, or that that's eight pounds, but then they've got a smaller plain one for four. Otherwise, there's not that much newness. I feel like a lot of it I've seen before. I was hoping to find some new bits, but we'll keep going. I've still got a trolley full. <laughs> I still don't know what we're gonna do outside, but I do want some kind of a setup, maybe something like this. I think I'll come back for this once we've done the garden and fully finished it so that I can hang my washing outside. But yeah, I quite like the look of that one for six pound. these I don't need them in the moment because I've got plenty of space but if you don't these are a really good little hack a space saving hack for in your wardrobe just to be able to hang basically multiple hangers in one row we've got a little hurricane vase at four pounds these are kind of similar shapes to like the Neptune one sorry the music is so loud and then this is more of like the urban loft range oh natural noir it's like a mixture of different vases and urns. Eight pound for that one. They've also got in that kind of noir section this oil burner at three pounds. A couple of other little ornaments and vases. Quite like the look of this candle. It's kind of the Baobab candles kind of print that H&M did as well. But this one is only four pounds and it's in the scent Palo Santo and smoked sandalwood. Anything else that we see that's new? I'm not sure these say new but i'm pretty sure i've seen these before i do like this little vase i think for two pound fifty instead of like a glass bud vase i feel like that was really nice and then again this oil burner i love the kind of more um aged sort of distressed look to that one these say new and i've definitely not seen these before these little vases at six pound with this kind of nice texture on it This 
was a nice little sale find at 7.50, it's been reduced. The speakers are so loud in here. I feel like I'm gonna have to just do more clips to music <laughs> for this video. This is quite good value at five pounds. You get a set of three glass storage jars if you don't like the wood look. I know I've gone for a lot of the wood. This has got like a black metal lid um, from their like simply everyday range. But yeah, I thought that was quite good value. Otherwise, these are kind of the go-to jars that I have in our kitchen. I feel like this one's a really nice size, like a medium sized um, jar. Six pound for that or three pound for the smaller one. They do have these ones with little kind of handles on the lids as well at three pounds. These are nice as well. If I didn't already have laundry jars at only five pounds, you've got three liters in there. So good for keeping like your um, vanish powder or laundry detergent in there with like maybe a little scoop. And then otherwise they've got these metal tins as well, which again, nice and simple and neutral from the natural home range. Um, six pound for those. We've got pegs in the garden, five pounds. Little bamboo lint rollers. I actually have this in my car, which is just an essential being a dog mum. Three pounds for a set of three. How nice is this uh, hooked planter? It's only three pound. They've got a plain ribbed one as well. Uh, oh, in fact, they've also got that in an oval plan to this design at five pounds. Yeah, I really liked that. Three pounds. I just love the kind of washed design of it. But I feel like I will be back down in these aisles. Oh, they've got a huge one there as well at ten pounds. I will be back down in these garden aisles very, very shortly. Stocking up with stuff for the garden, but for now, I just don't want to overbuy and not have anywhere to put it until the garden's ready for all of these kind of styling bits. Lots of new outdoor bits. I like the look of those wicker planters up there, but I also spotted these for outdoor crockery. They're like a melamine plastic, but the scalloped edging. Um, really nice they've got them in blues as well although i definitely prefer the white and then they've also got the little shell like kind of snack server bowls again this isn't um proper it's plastic so much more durable and better suited to outdoors or they've got this range which i'm pretty sure they had this last year to be honest Let's have a quick look outside whilst the sun's out today and see what some of the plants are like Oh, first find is this gorgeous olive tree. It is £100. I love the look of these plant pots. They've got them in like a lime green, kind of purpley colour, blue, like a baby blue, and then this cream, which obviously, <laughs> obviously is my favourite. But then they also have these huge, kind of like rustic looking planters at £34.99. They are like plastics so are quite nice and light as well. I'm thinking maybe for like some olive trees. Um, I kind of want a bit of a mixture of different pots. Definitely some like really nice antique large planters, but then some more budget ones like this as fillers, I think will be great as well. And then let's have a look down here. They've got like some slate, um, oh, Cotswold stone, which I love. You can get two for eight pounds of these as little feature rocks. You could do like a little rock garden like that. And this is the color of the gravel that we've got as well, the Cotswold stone. So I'm thinking maybe we could get some of these, um, like I say, as little features. I didn't realize they do gravel here as well. So you can get Cotswold's chippings and the, well, yeah, that's the color we've gone for, but it's more this size. Um, this one is white spa. They've got some smaller olive trees as well at 25. Just come back inside and then they've got these as well, these green bay tree planters. It's a set of three and it's in like a really nice dark, dark green color. So again, just to mix up with the colors and light and dark pots. I really like this green, really nice. They've also got them in blue as well. This bag's heavy, Marnie. Just carry it. Go on then. Good boy. Good boy. We've had to help carry the shopping in. Got my little coffee ready. Got a little coffee pit stop with you guys. And showing you what it is that I have to start. <clears throat> we had a right nightmare. 
there with the <laughs> with the cues because I was at the checkout for I'm not even kidding maybe half an hour because they couldn't get receipts to work and this woman was insistent two people in front of me on getting a receipt which is fair enough and they had to um, they had to get like a technician out they had to restart it they had to do all of this and it was that busy in there wasn't expecting it to be busy, but it was that busy in there that um, all the other like queues had queues, like big queues of people, and I had a trolley full of stuff, so I'd offloaded it all into my, like the till that I'd gone to, all on the conveyor belt, and I thought, oh, the thought of putting everything back into the trolley to then move to then during the back of another queue, I thought, now I'm committed, now I'm going to stay here and every single person that was in front of me, behind me, whatever, but in the other tills had all gone through and just kept going through and I was sat there, me and the woman in front of me that were kind of like trapped. We were just like, oh. <laughs> so, we didn't get a receipt in the end and the woman who had to wait for a receipt had to go and get a technician to go and print one off on the computer. It was all, it was all a big palaver, but either way, we've me made it home little coffee I've had my lunch just had a quick salad and I um, got some bits actually that I'm gonna bake my Nana's lemon ice recipe that she always used to do like a lemon cake definitely would have shown you in the vlog before but it's just a really nice easy bake and I've got the ingredients already I just needed to get some butter I'm gonna do that after I've shown you everything that I got from B&M because I want to crack on with doing the oven I think if I use the oven it's gonna be nice and warm for the product to work and I'll put the racks and stuff in after I've used the oven to you know like in the bags and like leave them either all day slash all night I might even just scrub them off tomorrow then so that's why I thought I would bake after this and then do that so let's start with a chopping board I have the smaller versions of these um it comes in a pack of two whereas this is the one larger one at six pound just an acacia wood surfboard oh where do i go the thing that barney brought in i'll show you that this was just like hung up in the kitchen section did you hear me say your name or did you hit the rustle anyway it's a two pack of clear food tongs at one pound fifty i thought these would be really nice to pop in um in summer in like an ice bucket if you've got like drinks chilling or whatever to use for ice or obviously as salad tongs i decided to get one of the miracle scrubber kits it doesn't come with pink stuff this one but i already have that so that was 10 pounds the one with the pink stuff in it is 12. also got a vermouche pet hair dissolver for in the dishwasher no washing machine the oven pride cleaner we actually got two of these because we have two ovens and a microwave I like to stock up on our like cupboard food bits in bnm i think they're more affordable so i picked up some um original green giant sweet corn i also got two of the john west tuna salads these are pretty healthy as far as a light lunch goes this one's basil super tuna salad with bulgur wheat and lentils it's my favorite one they do my favorite fabric softener this is the outdoorable ones the fairy scent i also got this for the oven cleaner for like in between a deep clean of the oven it's meant to be just as intense i think this is important powerful cleaning product on it so you know and then i just got a machine polish i've seen that they do these mini dr beckman's now for the upholstery which obviously you can use the larger ones for upholstery anyway but i thought it'd be quite nice to have one separate to the carpet scrubber that gets on the carpet whereas this one's just going to be for the furniture so a bit nicer and then what else have we got oh i've got a new flash spray and i went for the new orange blossom and coastal cypress um scent for that mrs hinch has created dishwasher pods which again a vacay vibes edition I've got some black well actually not black bin liners these ones are silver i love my batiste dry shampoo and this is the throw pack scent dreamy watermelon i tend to just go for the standard one but i thought we'd switch up for summer go for a watermelon scent also got some more harpic pine toilet bleach nivea cool kick deodorant favorite purple shampoo of mine to keep my hair from being quite yellow and this is the provoke 
Go Icy one, Platinum Effect Shampoo. I've actually never tried the Go Icy. I'm assuming it's just the standard purple shampoo. I also picked up some egg fried rice packets. And for the birdies, of course, just got a sort of a generic seed mix for the bird feeder outside. Again, more pending stock ups. We've got some tuna and spring water and some Heinz beans, no added sugar. And last but not least, some Vanish Oxy Action whitening powder and that is everything nothing really fun and exciting like i was saying in stores nothing really seems new i think bm need to step it up a little they do the cleaning section really well and the snacks but yeah as for the homeware i wasn't that inspired and i felt a little flat and like i'd seen everything before so that's my B&M haul for today. I'm going to pop all these bits away and get baking and then we'll get on with some cleaning, shall we? The door's open so that no cleaning products gets in your chute. Although, having said that, I would have the doors open anyway today because it's nice and warm. The builders aren't, or the gardeners I should say, aren't in today, so um, when they're not in, I tend to have the doors open so that you can just come and go as you please. This is my recipe card if you did want to Pause the video. If you do bake it, let me know. Send me a picture. But that's the first side with all the ingredients and everything. And then the reverse for the instructions. I thought I would just decant the caster sugar. We've got flour in one of these jars. We've also got a spare jar for some caster sugar and a label. These are B&M, but I've had these a while. Um, I do need, though, the... Um, we need an icing sugar label. That's the only thing with these labels from B&M is that I can't then go and create more. I could try and get some similar, I suppose. There we go. Rightio, the oven is preheating to 180 degrees. Get out some scales. The, the recipe is super easy because all of the measurements are kind of the same. So we just need, these are my scales by the way, love them. 25 grams of caster sugar, self-raising flour and margarine.
So whilst the UK is cool, cooling, <laughs> cooling, that was a really strange way of saying that, I have just prepped the icing and the kind of topping. So basically, because this recipe has lemon juice as opposed to water in the icing, you can kind of make it as thick or as runny as you like, depending on whether or not you want more of like a lemon ice, like icing, like I do, like how my nana used to make it, quite thick or if you want it more of like a drizzle, obviously you just have less icing sugar. So that quantity is just personal preference. Then I've just cut up some lemon wedges just to decorate the top with a bit of it, the um, lemon zest as well. And then we also had, I don't usually do this, but we also had some fresh thyme. So lemon and thyme work really well together. I thought I would just pick off a few sprigs, again, just for the topper for a bit of decoration. I'm spending a few hours planning and prepping for some videos. How nice is this notebook, by the way? Super pretty for this time of the year. It is from TK Maxx, HomeSense. You know, I feel like I'm due a trip there. I feel like I've not been in a couple of weeks. <laughs> and I just, I love a HomeSense trip so much. And here we have it, the finished lemon cake. I cannot wait to tuck into this. Okay, workout gear on. We are gonna go for a little run, aren't we? So I'm gonna get him harnessed up. We're just gonna go probably local, just around the block. And um, there is actually a running track not too far from me. So we might just go there, see, hopefully, if the weather stays nice and dry. Oh, you're not tired. You're ready to come on a run with me. When we get back, we'll enjoy a nice slice of cake. Balance, you see. Go for a run, have a piece of cake. There's actually something about these flowers. They smell lovely. These are from, where did I get these from? Tesco's. Um, oh, lemon cake is looking very delicious up there, but it's shower time for me. And if you were interested, just looking at my stats, I did 40 minutes. So I ran for 40 minutes couple of stops because with Barney sometimes when he's on a lead he has to like stop and have a wee or say hello to a dog but when he's off lead I can just go at my regular pace but for the most part I would say it's like he keeps up with me and I keep up with him <laughs> just um so yeah 40 minutes and it was just shy of six kilometers that for me so yeah it definitely felt like a slower than usual run but it felt quite hot and sometimes when you're running in the heat, um, I don't know, sometimes I, I find it hard, like I feel heavier. Anyway, still it's a run. A run is better than no run, so that's how I see it. And I'm definitely by no means an expert runner. I like to go for a little mindful jog. That's kind of the main aim for me with my runs but anyway i'm going to jump in the shower um and yeah i'm still using and loving these products by the way just popping it, jumping in the shower here the ameliorate nourishing body wash this one is quite hard to come out of the um container there's only a little bit left of that one but it's good for i've said before about how um sometimes if you get like bumpy skin or yeah there we go bumpy skin for dehydrated rough skin but today 
you might be able to see that on my arm i've got like remnants of some tan so i'm going to use this one as well the smoothing body exfoliant so there's definitely more in that one but the other one is virtually out so i'm going to go to my little stockpile and just pop another one in there as well another body wash in the uh shower this is my kind of like pr drawer except that's not pr but my spillover um what shall we take in i quite like the rituals mousses that they do body lotion mousse that one this one's the shower gel is it refreshing foaming shower gel yeah i'm going to use this one next the ritual of her mom which is fresh eucalyptus and rosemary. How good does that sound? Shower time. We're still a little rosy cheeked, but oh, wobbly, but feeling much fresher now. The oven's cooled down now, so I thought I would quickly pop on the, like put the things in the oven pride. No more than two racks in the bag. Good job I bought a couple, because I'm thinking about putting three racks in each bag. There's two racks in there, but then there's this, as well add half to three quarters of this solution into the bag remove the earthen bag seal fold around the racks then tilt the bag to coat the trays leave to soak for ideally for overnight pour the remaining solution into the oven carefully apply with a sponge leave to soak again over ideally overnight i was going to show you this tool that i've got i bought it off amazon i'll leave it linked below but it has been brilliant for as and when you get any marks on the um glass like this is what it looks like it's just like a little blade it's a bit dirty because i've used it but you get replacement blades in there so on the glass, let me show you a bit closer up. Can you see this bit here that's just been scraped off? It just really easily comes away and you can just wipe that off. So if ever we've had any stubborn marks on this hob as well, that's not a mark, that's just, but you can just scratch that off as well and give it all one big wipe over. test on camera that's what it looks like on the inside oh delish just taking the very end off taste test this one isn't for you i'm afraid barney although he is giving me the puppy dog eyes mm. i wonder what it'd be like if i actually added time within the recipe like a little bit of it within the cake feels all the more naughty having that after i've done a rub but delicious lovely little summer recipe that is going to go ahead and conclude today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day with us you say bye barney and say thank you for our collaboration with tails yeah do you want your dinner is it your dinner time i'll give him his dinner in a second but I um, yeah, just wanted to remind you guys again, if you have any pooches out there that you're thinking about changing their food, or if you're already a Tails customer, let me know in the comments below. If you have never tried Tails.com tailored dog food, then be sure to check out via my unique link left in the description box below, and don't forget to use that discount code Freya5, which will get you the 100% off, i.e free tailor-made recipe for your dog dog food um for your first month along with the 50 percent off if you go for any wet food or treats as well so yeah be sure to take advantage of that and let me know how you get on but yeah thank you so much for spending the day with me like i said and i hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day week weekend month evening whatever time of day it is that you are watching this and i hope to see you all very soon in my next video